I grew up in Daphne, Alabama, and I grew up just a few blocks from Mobile Bay. And as a child, I loved to go fishing and crabbing and throw my cast net. And so today as a blind artist, I still remember uh, all the wonderful things uh, that are along the Eastern shore, uh, like shrimp and crabs and shrimp boats. And those are the types of images that I love to paint. I'm real passionate about painting uh, sea life and uh, seagulls and uh, pelicans. And I love to share uh, my passion for art with the school children. I was influenced at a young age by uh, my uncle Ronald, who was a, a, a quadriplegic. He had injured himself by diving off of the Daphne Pier when I was just a little boy, and he was about 16 years old. But he uh, inspired me the way he didn't give up. He was just a wonderful example of perseverance. And he learned to paint by holding a paintbrush in his mouth. And um, he became a wonderful portrait artist around the Gulf Coast. I never imagined that I would have two accidents within a seven year period of time that would cause me to be blind in my left eye, then my right eye and I was able to draw strength from my Uncle Ronald's story of not giving up and persevering through the, the difficult times. Ricky Trone's partnership with Baldwin County Public Schools has been one of the most unique and positive things that our county could have come on board with. He exemplifies what we want our students to learn about character ed, about art, about perseverance, an art class, I, I've always thought, was a workshop for character education. It really touched my heart uh, to hear the children respond to uh, my art and they could see the, that the message I was trying to get across through my paintings of Choose Your Battle and um, What Goes Around Comes Around, they understood those concepts and I just hope that they will, that's something that they can retain and practice in their daily lives. The artwork with the choose your choose your battles makes me think if you if you choose the wrong battle you will be in a lot of trouble. It's like it teaches you how to be smart like if they, you start to get into a fight just walk away and you won't be beaten up. The uh, school of fish that's all going one direction and then there's one fish going the opposite direction it's called go against the flow and it really brings up a lot of conversation about leadership and about not following the crowd and sometimes how hard it can be when you have peer pressure by your friends or, or groups of children to, to uh, pressure you into doing something that's not right or that might hurt someone. I think the following the crowd, this picture with all these fishes following each other, I think that's about they follow each other so they can stay safe. The more they, they hear it and the images that they imprint on their mind from, from the paintings, I hope will help, help them retain um, the message. Everyone is very interested in how Ricky does what he does. I tried painting blind and it is hard. I felt with my left hand and painted with my pointer finger on my right hand. That ability to say to himself, I don't have to have my sight to do the thing that I love. Mr. Charlie influenced me because when blind people do art, it looks perfect. Mr. Ricky inspired me because of how he does his paintings. Mr. Trium is amazing how he can actually paint blind. I think that's a one in a lifetime experiment. What a huge obstacle to overcome. Mr. Ricky is very fun and cool.